Hi folks, LQ here. Today I'm going to show you how to get your rooftop tent on and off your truck all by yourself without giving yourself a hernia. So grab yourself a cold one, kick back, relax, and enjoy. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Hey, well, he's busy getting everything, or I'm busy getting everything set up over here. I thought I'd talk a little bit about why I decided to do this video. See, I just picked myself up a brand new Simpson 3 rooftop tent from ARB, and it is amazing. The engineering on this tent is second to none, so if you're thinking about buying a rooftop tent, I highly recommend the Simpson 3. Well, when I went down to Dirty Parts on Culver City to pick the tent up, those guys are nice enough to help me get it up onto my roof rack. But when I got home, I realized I don't have three guys that are gonna help me get it down, much less help with the install. So naturally I went on YouTube to see if anybody out there had installed a rooftop tent by themselves. And all I found was this guy who lifted one end of the tent up onto his tailgate and then muscled it up onto the top of the roof. And I thought to myself, if I try that with this tent, I'm gonna leave my stones on the driveway here. This thing weighs about 160 pounds and it's big and bulky. So I decided what I needed was a tower. A tower of power. Sorry, old tune just went through my head. What I did was design a simple A-frame structure and let the winch on my truck do all the heavy lifting for me. So what I'm gonna do is fast forward through most of this video because it took me about an hour in real time. But when I get to the important parts, I'll stop it and come back in and talk about what I'm doing. But before I go, I'm going to leave you with a shopping list of everything you're going to need to build the tower. First off, you're going to need four 2x4s 10 feet long. You'll need four 2x4s 8 feet long, four 3 8 inch bolts by 8 inches long, and eight 3 8 inch bolts and nuts 3 and a half inches long. You'll need a set of 3 and a half inch hinges, some pretty beefy ones because that's going to be the apex of the tower, okay? You'll need 16 3 8 inch fender washers, and four lengths of half inch black pipe, two and a half to three feet long. Gotta be black pipe, because galvanized is just a little bit too thick. See, I have the Yakima round bar system on my truck, and this half inch pipe fits perfectly in that round bar. Now you can get all this stuff at Home Depot for right around 50 bucks. And one more thing you're gonna need is one of these. This is a pulley, or in the vernacular of the four x four community, a snatch block. Why they call this round red thing a snatch block, I'm not exactly sure, but chances are if you do a lot of four-wheeling, you've already got one of these in your winch accessories anyway. So let's move things along here. When we get to an important part, we'll talk again. We'll see you then. It worked. So you get the picture so far, right? Simple A-frame structure, nothing complicated about it. From the side, looks like a triangle. Two 10-foot 2x4s with the hinge on top. Very strong, very stable structure. From the front, everything looks more like a rectangle. Inherently less stable. So that's why I decided to put some cross bracing down at the bottom to keep it from doing one of these, okay? So what you have is your 10-foot 2x4s as your vertical supports your 8-foot 2x4s as your horizontal members to support the pulley, and the two 8-foot 2x4s down at the bottom for your cross members. Now, the diagonals are a little tricky because you want to mount them up high enough to give everything rigidity, but low enough so your truck frame can pass over the top of them when you back up. So you're going to want to pull your tires right up to this bracing when you're mounting the tent, because that'll put the apex of the tower about two feet over your truck. Now one more important thing about all of this is you want to make this as square as possible when you're building it. So 
in order to ensure that everything is square before you start drilling and bolting it all together, take a tape measure and measure from this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner. If that dimension is exactly the same, then you know everything you've got here is nice and square and you can start drilling and bolting everything together. Now those 3 8, three eight inch bolts, 3.5 inches long, you're going to want to use those in the corners and those fender washers on both sides of the 2x4 so you can really crank them down. So I guess that's about it for now. I'll see you on the next clip. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Slow it down here, because this is kind of important, all right? Now, see that piece of chain I'm hooking up above my garage door there? Can I get a close-up of the chain there? Yeah, that one. Okay, time for a little physics lesson. Okay, so uh, remember Anton not. Truck, winch cable, tent, A-frame. It's all there. Now, the first time I set this all up, I assumed that the sheer weight of the tent would be enough to keep the A-frame firmly planted on the ground when I started winching up the tent. Big mistake. Huge. What actually happens is, for whatever reason, the pulley wants to travel along the winch cable back down towards the truck. So does the tower. So, if you do not secure this tower before you start winching that tent up, trucks will get dented, windshields will crack, children will scream, and wives will berate you endlessly. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. So to fix the problem, I got myself a 3 8 inch eye bolt about 8 inches long, and I screwed that bad boy right into the header above my garage door. Now that's a good sized piece of lumber up there, so you shouldn't have any problem if you decide to do the same thing. Then I got myself a 3 8 inch carabiner and enough chain to go up and loop around the top of the tower and secure everything. Now after I did that, no problem. But uh, word to the wise, if you don't secure this thing somehow before you lift that tent, bad things will happen. So a uh, little heads up, but I thought it was worth stopping the video for. See you on the next clip. This is a little embarrassing. I thought we were done for the day here, but... Remember those 3 8 inch bolts we spoke about earlier in the video? The 8 inch long ones? Well, I don't know if you can see it very clearly on the video here, but I just pushed one of those 3 8 inch bolts through the 2x4. And I think uh, an explanation's in order. It's a clown car. Alright, now once you lift the tent up and put it on the rack, the only thing that holds it in place are those 3 8 inch bolts going through the 2x4s. And telling you exactly where to drill those holes is impossible because I don't know what kind of truck you have, your suspension, your tires, all of that's variable. What I'm going to do is tell you how I did it. First, I figured out what the spacing of my roof rack would be once it was actually attached to the tent. Then I put the rack on the truck and tightened it all down. Then I took my two pieces of black pipe and put it in the round bar so it extended beyond the body panels of my truck. Then I took the two 10-foot sections of 2x4 with the hinge on it before it was attached to the tower, put it in between the black pipe and spread it apart until it just touches the black pipe. Then I marked a point 4 inches above that on the 2x4 and drilled a hole right down the center. So now when you lift that black pipe up and slide that bolt through, the whole tent sits about 4 inches above your truck. So, does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Carry on.
So there you have it. Now you know how to get your rooftop tent on and off your truck without giving yourself a hernia. Now, if you don't have a winch on your truck, you could just hook up a block and tackle to the tower. Do this all by hand. A little more muscle involved, but you could do it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now get out there and do some camping. Thanks for watching. I figured I'd take a few minutes and talk about exactly what I'm doing, why I'm, what the f*** am I talking about? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. See, I just picked myself up a brand new Simpson 3 rooftop tent from ARB, and it is amazing. Ask me why. I don't know. So I decided what I need is a, what I need is some way to, oh, come on. <laughs> the guys were nice enough down there to help me put it up on, up on, up on, up on, up on, up on. We're going down, we're going down. Yeah, I just picked up a brand new Simpson 3 rooftop tent from ARB, and it is amazing. I really got to figure out what to do with my hands, because they're like, I don't know, man. They're like, I don't know. Not that important, but I thought it might clarify where you want to put that hole. I know, it's not very clear, is it? <laughs> picked a bad time to start drinking. <laughs> this is a pulley. Well, in the vernacular of the 4x4 community, a snitchy snatchy, a snatchy witchy, a witchy watcher, a snitchy watcher, a snatcher watcher. It's a witcher watcher. It's a snatch block, you idiot. It's a snatch block. How you doing? Hey, well, he's been busy, but it's all folks. <laughs>